Welcome back, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to see you. The more observant of you may have noticed, this is the modern tier list, which we will use going forward. Jesus Christ, you take so long to say anything, Barry. If you just shut the fuck up, we might actually finish. How's about you? Let me take the wheel. I'm the, I'm the president, for Christ's sake. Oh, that's a great idea. Just a great idea. Let's put the 80-year-old in charge. What could go wrong? Can you even read the card we're looking at? Brutality. If this pops up in Act 3 or later, it's going straight in Joe's deck. Stable draws, rupture synergy, zero cost. Stick it in B tier. Holy shit, Joe, that almost made sense. That was unusually coherent of you, Joe. I'd like to add that zero cost powers are always attractive with any of the classic triumvirate of bird-faced urn, mummified hand, and orange pellets. Would you listen to yourself? You're listing these relics like I don't know them, but I know them. I know them very well. Donald, last time I was watching your stream, you procked pellets, then drank a speed potion. Will everybody just shut the fuck up with the whining? It's going in B tier. Burning pack, this card is so boring. It doesn't deal damage or block. Why would anyone pick this garbage? Stick it in D tier. Now, n now, Donald, this. This guy here is a critical late game card. I'm in charge now and I won't see anything below B tier. You need to draw your important cards as quickly as possible. Burning pack thins your deck beautifully. It's just too subtle for you, Trump. Fuck it. Stick it in B tier. Let's get on to the good stuff. Carnage is A tier. It deals a ton of damage and makes a great noise. You mean the sound of it exhausting because you can't play it? Carnage is overrated, man. So overrated. C tier. I have to agree with Joe here. Thoughts on Clash? Easiest D of my life. <laughs> what are you bozos laughing about? Oh, Jesus Christ, would you look at the Democrats and their dick jokes? All right, I admit that was puerile, but come on, sometimes the old ones are the best ones. That's what she said. Holy shit, can we get on with this tier list? What about Cleve? If you find a whirlwind, you're pretty sad, but it's not the worst card. I'd go C or D. Cleve is an unwelcome sight in most decks. Drop it in D. Clothesline. W what's this one again? I pick this on Sneko, or if I have to, but I'm not happy about it. C tier. Clothesline is uppercuts, bitch, and it knows it. It's a clear D tier. Right, right, I remember now. It's this card. The problem, the problem is that Iron Chad has too many superior two-cost cards. I pick this up when I boss swap into Energy or Sneko, or if it's already upgraded and I'm in a pinch. I also second Don's comment about it being uppercuts, little bitch. Speaking of little bitches, did you catch Obama's stream the other day? Sad, very sad. He skipped the book event again and got beaten down by the slavers like a dog. The worst run I've seen, and I've seen a lot of runs. First of all, let me address this use of foul and frankly sexist language. I expect it from Trump, but Joe, you're letting yourself get carried away with him. You may be, you may be right. Secondly, we are all aware of how difficult and trying this game can be, and I feel strongly that our efforts, both in and out of the spire, should be celebrated by all of the community. Which leads me onto a request. Donald, I've written a short song about the run you spoke of. Would you do me the honor and help mend this chasm that is growing between us by accompanying me and singing it? Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's do this. All these cards are bad. And my screen, well, it went great. I got wrecked in Act 2. Got wrecked in Act 2. Now I decline to play. Now he's too pussy to play. Say it how it is. Back on floor one, dreaming. Only this guy would make a song about his damn losses. Of winning this game someday. Sad.